Okay, today we're going to talk about tremolo picking. Now, to get good at tremolo picking, you have to get good at playing the classic stuff. Because this is this is the route that I took. I started playing Iron Maiden riffs and Slayer riffs, and then gradually learning like simple Dimmu gear riffs, and then 1349 riffs and Immortal riffs, and progressing like that. So before we even start going into the hardcore tremolo picking technique, the first things to do are to learn the classic Iron Maiden riffs, like let's take Power Slave for example. Now there's enough tutorials online, enough tabs out there that are correct to play, um, to play and learn that song properly. The most important thing from that riff regarding tremolo picking technique is the palm muted open A gallops. Because that technique gets your hand in motion for 16th notes. So that's the first riff that you want to learn. The second one is the verse riff from the trooper. Where this one differs to Power Slave is when you are doing the gallops, you're palm muting and playing not what not only one string but two. You're playing A and D. So you've got good at, so from learning Power Slave, you've got good at galloping on one string. Now let's get you good at galloping on two strings. Step three, learn the reigning blood riff because you have to get good at galloping, doing a reverse gallop over three strings. <laughs> And then once you've learned those, then we can start talking about proper black metal style tremolo picking. Because there's no point doing it if you haven't built up the technique beforehand. And those riffs get your hand in motion with the speed. Now, when I was getting into black metal, one of the first bands that I got into was Jimmy Borg Gear. And learning some of their songs really helped me. Because if we take In Death's Embrace, the verse riff. You've got this rhythm here. Which is hard to play at high speeds. That's why it's such a good riff to learn. Haha, <laughs> that's wrong with that. Because only with proper technique you'll get that riff right. Another another riff that's worth learning is the one of is the midsection in what's the song? 1349's Riders of the Apocalypse. <laughs> It's got a similar rhythm, but more chord changes. So once you get all good at all of those riffs that I previously, previously mentioned, that's when you can start thinking about applying just straight 8th or 16th note rhythms into your playing. And the first step that you want to do is pick any two chords. Let's just take this E minor and the C minor bar chords. Now, there's a lot, there's a lot of technique stuff that's involved here, especially with the right hand. Okay, ideally, this is personal taste, and from personal experience, I don't like tremolo picking when my fingers are curled up because I think it adds way too much tension here in my fingers, and I just don't like. It just feels like my hand's being restrained for some reason. So keep your fingers out. 
keep your wrist extremely loose and do not pick from your elbow because that's just going to cause tendonitis and problems. RSI, tendonitis, AIDS, don't do it. Keep it. Keep your picking nice and gentle and just get used to just gently brushing the strings, even without the cords. Just nice and soft. Keeping, every, keeping your hand and your picking extremely loose. Just relax into it. Because that's the motion without the cord. Then once you get once you get your right hand consistent, and it will be because you've been playing gallops and all the previous riffs, you'll naturally build up a stronger rhythm. Then apply it with the cord. doing that is the first step to tremolo picking it's just not super speedy it's just just nice and even and consistent to further your technique with the strumming you want to accent accenting means em embellishment or emphasis on a certain note and what you want to do is do it every beat <laughs> You want to apply more power to the first strum when you're playing the chords. Because that's how you apply that's how you apply pulse and rhythm and groove into black metal playing, which a lot of bands do not do and don't really know how to do. That's why a lot of black metal kind of sucks, but you know. Like it, I just want you to hear the difference even without the amp. See, that's just gentle strumming. Now I'm going to apply the accents. So that's so much more force to your playing, and especially distorted. <laughs> And then once you get good at strumming chords and having your hand relaxed, that's when you can start learning the classic black metal riffs. Uh, like if we take um, Mother North or even I'm the Black Wizards, for example, those are great riffs to start to start learning at the beginning. Mother North is a lot more difficult, but I'm the Black Wizards is actually quite a good one. <laughs> And what you need to remember is just to keep your keep your hand nice and loose and relaxed, and you would have done that from playing the chords previously, because it's all it's all a build up. Yeah, you're not going to get to playing dark funeral riffs overnight. It just won't happen. It's a gradual gradual process of just learning and unlearning mistakes and building up stronger techniques. Going back to Emperor. <laughs> Just don't even don't even start learning the riff in in, in its entirety. Just focus on one note. Just keep it nice and even. Just make sure your wrist is loose. And what I like to do, and this is a personal thing, I don't like to have my hand anchored on top of the guitar. The only anchoring that I'm doing, especially with these open power chords, is I have my little finger just hooked onto the high E. So, you can see it here, like right there. Because that way my hand's slightly arched and I can, I can um, for me anyway, that builds up my speed. If it's, if my hand's back a bit, I can't really go as fast. And it doesn't work well with this hooking technique here. And um, with palm eating, you don't need to worry so much because you're anchoring with this part of your hand where you palm you over the bridge. So you don't even need your little finger out there. It's only when 
you are playing open chords or open riffs. So start very slowly. Just focus on one note, as long as you can get that one note clean. Then you just need to practice jumping from one string to the other. And you can do that on any note, any two notes. And build up like that. But again, don't try and go too fast. It's only because I've done this for so many years that I've built up this super speedy tremolo picking right hand. And um, it takes a while. It really does take a while. So focus on getting one note perfect, then focus on getting two notes perfect. Then three. Then four. And then slowly build up, build up, build up. Start small, start very small, and then add small increments to your playing each time. Because that, because then that way your playing and your learning will be less daunting. Because instead of trying to make big leaps, you're trying to make small steps each time. And that's a more effective learning method because you're not overwhelmed. It's, everything seems a bit more attainable. And that's where it's like, yeah, I can do that, I can do that. Because it's all a mental thing, ultimately. And then once you get good at trying to picking over one string, try over two. And you, you need, really just need to treat the two strings as one string. And then once you get good at two strings, try three. Then four. Then five. Then six. And all of this will come gradually. And then you'll realize like, hang on, wait, 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 I'm, I'm building up my speed. I can kind of do it. And then that's when it's like, okay, that, that's your revelation moment because you'll, you'll realize you'll get there without even realizing it. You'll just be like, oh yeah, I just wanted to learn like tyrants for example. And it might be a struggle. And if it is a struggle, break it down. Just if you're struggling on the tremolo picking part or the chord change, slow it down. Just work on getting everything right because you don't want to practice mistakes. You don't want to fluke anything either. You just want to keep nice and simple. And again, if you're struggling with the tremolo picking stuff, just take that one chord there. Just get used to strumming that chord gently. Just the two strings. Then speed up when you feel comfortable. And just gradually just speed up until you get to this. Like that tremolo picking is is a process that does take a while but once you get there you'll be fine and you don't really lose it you just need to remember to make sure that your wrist is nice and loose you have a strong anchor point yeah you're not tense at all don't be tense anywhere learn the learn the basics learn the classics go slowly and slowly slowly over time your playing will improve so that, that's my that's my take on tremolo picking and leading up towards the playing. Because there's there's tremolo picking lessons out there, but I think it's important to learn from taking steps back as opposed to just rushing into things. <laughs>